What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about how to get out of your own head. Now I know pretty much everybody who's been watching this video or watching my videos in general has probably experienced this. You know, you maybe it comes down to a time where you're, like, you're sitting down and you kind of see a girl come in or someone that you're really, really attracted to and you kind of freeze up. Or, or maybe you're actually talking to the girl uh, when this happens. You're talking to the girl that you really like, she's talking, she's saying things, and you're like, oh shit, what do I say next? What do I do? I can't think because you're just so much in your own head. You're psyching yourself out. Um, you get this paralysis by analysis, um, and then you, you don't have to end up doing anything. She leaves, you feel embarrassed, um, especially if you've been talking to her, and that happens. So, you know, you don't know how to deal with these things uh, when they come up. So, you know, it's a real problem for a lot of guys, and it's something that I talk about with my students a lot, and that I'm actually going to be covering it much more in depth uh, tomorrow in the workshop that we're going to be doing. So, if you want to attend that, there's a link in the description box below. Uh, but if you want some just quick tips right now, just keep listening. So, what I think are some excellent things that you guys can start doing that are going to help you out with getting out of your own head is first, just have a few go-to questions uh, to go to. So like, you know, I have the video on five questions I ask every girl when I'm out. Um, have those questions memorized, you know? Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, what do you do? Uh, what are your interests? Um, sorry, like, what do you like to do for fun? Um, those kinds of things. Or, you know, what are you up to today? How's your day been so far? Like, these are just basic small talk questions. And what's going to happen is when you ask them, you know, people are used to a answering these questions. So they'll answer and they'll, it'll be kind of calm. It'll be relaxed. It'll get her to relax a little bit, see that you're a normal person. But most of all, it's going to get you to relax. Now that you have just a general format where you can have just a normal conversation with somebody, with anybody, um, it's going to free yourself up to actually do the things that you want to do. Uh, and that brings me into my second tip which is instead of asking yourself the question what do I do next ask yourself what do I want and this is a pretty deep thing for a lot of guys I would say most people who struggle with women they don't know how to ask this question women are very very drawn to a man who knows what he wants but if you're in your own head it means you're unsure it means you're second-guessing yourself it means you're trying to think of the right thing to do which is really what we've been trained ever since we were kids you know as boys you know primarily uh, we've been raised by women who have been you know telling us to f f stay in line ask raise their hands to go to the bathroom don't do this or you're gonna get in trouble you know whether it's a school teacher whether it's your mother and an absentee father father or I don't know what your family household was uh, but generally we're brought up in these environments and so a lot of guys do is they grow up trying to not get in trouble they don't think for themselves they don't go for the things that they want and as a result when they're faced with these situations where they have to act like a man uh, they just can't do it so start asking yourself the masculine the right question what do I want what do I want to do right now do I want to talk to this girl do I want to get to know her do I want to see if she's cool Maybe I want to give her a hug. I don't know. It, it, it could really depend on um, what it is. Now, obviously, you can't just, <laughs> if you want to have sex with her, you can't just go do that. So there are some rules and manners that we have to go by, obviously. Um, but I think too much people go on the side of not doing what they want and trying to do the thing that's correct, that's right, the thing that's not going to get them in trouble. But the thing that doesn't get you in trouble also doesn't get you laid. So if you want to learn more about how to do that, how to embrace your masculinity, I definitely think the workshop would be a good fit for you. But still Start by asking that question. Start by, hey, what do I want rather than what's the right thing to do? Because typically, if you go for the right thing, it's not going to lead you to what you want. So again, if you want to join the workshop, link is in the description box below. Click on it, fill out the survey, and I'll send you the payment link. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Good luck out there.